Let's face it, accidents do happen every day all over the world, causing pain and suffering not only to those directly involved, but also to family, friends, and workmates. Is there anything we can do to prevent accidents from happening? Yes, there is. This is not a film about accidents. It's a film about the only thing we can do to prevent them from happening. It's a film about safety. Just think, if we could train ourselves to always think in terms of safety and learn how to anticipate danger, most accidents would never happen. And just as there are usually a chain of events leading up to an accident, there's also a chain of safety elements protecting us from them. And as with any chain, should one of these links break, we're left up to our own luck. And do we really feel that lucky? Let's take a closer look at the first link in the safety chain. It all starts with people, you and me, human beings. And most of us are pretty good at anticipating danger. For instance, we all know that small children and steep stairs, that's a bad combination. So we put a gate at the top of the stairs. We also understand it's a good idea to blow out any burning candles when we leave the house. We also know that it's wise to wear a helmet when riding a bike, and that small children should always be in a proper child seat when riding in a car. What we sometimes forget is that safety is a full-time job demanding dedication and concentration. But should anything impair our ability to concentrate, be it drugs, alcohol, lack of sleep, fatigue, or whatever, we're no longer capable of acting safely. And that can have serious consequences. Anticipating danger requires concentration. Safety is part of our job, not just some extra chore on top of everything else we already do. Safety also involves our own personal protection. In our case, this means a hard hat, safety glasses, shoes, gloves, high visibility clothing so that we can be seen both during the night and day. In fact, any other articles specific to the work we do. This is the first link in the chain of safety. A concentrated, focused operator, equipped with the personal protection his work requires. And now for the next link, the machine. These machines are designed and built to meet the most rigid safety and environment specifications. And every machine is thoroughly tested. They're big and strong, and many have built-in safety systems, but they do have their limitations.
All machines have limitations. This can be how much they can safely load or lift. It can be the angle at which they may safely work, the speed at which they may travel when fitted with certain equipment, etc. As an operator, you need to know your machine's limitations. And where do you find that information? Right here, in the operator's manual. Inside, you'll find everything you need to know about your machine and some great tips about the best and safest methods of operation in all sorts of situations. This is where you'll find the explanations to the various warning decals you see on your machine. It's important you understand what these mean. And there's information here about service intervals and the importance of a well-serviced machine. A machine that hasn't been properly serviced is not only a danger to its operator, but to everyone and everything around it. Each of these machines are designed to carry out specific tasks. Excavators, wheel loaders, graders, and haulers, each with their unique characteristics. But when it comes to safety, they have a lot in common. Since the most common injuries around these machines are related to slip and fall accidents, that is to say, service personnel or the operator falling off the machine, one has to ask the question, why does this happen? After all, these steps and rails are sturdy and all stepping areas are covered with anti-slip material, so it's not the machine's fault. There are simple ways to avoid these accidents. 